Hey everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and I'm going to show you these cute little boxes that I made using the tags, bags, boxes, and more Cricut cartridge. And I used the bag from page 116 on blackout so that it wouldn't have the little holes on there. And I did it at six and a half inches. And I also did the tags. Let me show you the tags that I did to go with this. That's this direction here. And I did the tag out at one and a half inches on page 91. And I also did um, the blackout feature on the shift. So I did this one at one and a half inches. And that's what you'll see here. These are these adorable little boxes. And then I just embellished with some rhinestones, a little bit of baker's twine. And on here is a little eyelet that I punched through on the little tag. And the cute little sentiment is from the My Pink Stamper. Yummy Licious set, and I used the For You, which is perfect. And I'm going to show you guys what else I did here. So I'm just going to show you the different ones I did. So this is just flowers with a little bit of rhinestones. Here's some more little um, flowers that I put on put on here, and add a cute little twine on that one. And this is actually a Brad that I got. Let me see if I can find the. Oh, here it is. This is from K and Company. Amy Butler. It's called. Uh, metal art. I'm trying to see if there was a name on this one here. Uh, Peace and Love, it says on the back, but I'm not sure exactly what the name was. But that's where all these little brads came from. I thought it went really cute with this. So let me show you what I'm... These are for my uh, sister-in-laws. And so um, I thought this would be a fun little gift. I saw a recipe. I'm going to put the link on YouTube. So I've got these containers, and I also got this recipe, and this recipe is homemade lip balm, or you could also use it as cuticle ointment, and I love it because it's all natural ingredients, all the materials I got from eBay, including the tins, and then all the ingredients are like coconut oil, which actually you can get at um, a health food store as well, and then um, it's just got some natural shea butter and some beeswax, and um, so you put that together with some essential oils. I used the uh, grapefruit and I love it so the only thing when I link the recipe that I would recommend is to double the essential oils it's not as strong as I would have liked so just double the essential oil and the only difference I did also was add two teaspoons of agave uh, syrup or agave nectar and the reason why I did that is just so it has a little bit of sweetness when you put that on your lips if you're going to use it as cuticle oil that's not necessary so let's get started here. I'm just going to show you really quick how to put the boxes together. They're sort of self-explanatory, but I thought it'd be fun to just go through this real quick with you guys. So here's the six and a half that I cut out. And so I'm just going to fold this right here and here. It's got the little perforations on it so that they're really easy to tell where you need to fold them. And I'm just using this bone folder just to make really nice tight creases with this. And this is kind of an interesting box, how it goes together. It's really easy to do, but it's a little bit different than the other boxes because the tabs fit differently. So I'll show you what I mean by that when I say different. And then I'm going to show you the exact place that you want to be putting your um, double stick tape. Let me grab that really quick. I should have grabbed it. Okay, so here's the double stick tape here. This is that Wonder Tape that I love using. Really super strong tape. And let me get some sharp scissors here. Okay, so here's some sharp scissors. And this is where I found the best place to put this Wonder Tape on this particular project. The best place, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got some perforation holes right here and a perforation holes right here. So the best place to put the tape is right alongside here. You don't need it too long, so just maybe about an inch or so. And then you'll just snip that off. And put one on the other side here. There we go. And you'll just snip that part off. I'm just going to do all four sides just so that it just makes it easier here. That's when I do my projects. I kind of like to do everything all at once that I need to be using. That's just easier for me that way. Oops. So inside these boxes, um, you could put some of that paper. Besides tissue paper, I'm not sure what it's called, but you know it's that paper that looks all kind of squiggly and it's filler. 
So I think that would be really quick and quick cute is what I'm trying to say and that would be probably what I would prefer but I didn't have any of that so I'm just using tissue paper so I'll show you that in just a quick second so yeah I went to Victoria's Secret for Christmas for the girls and for my nieces and I always get them like perfumes from Victoria's Secret and so the tissue paper they always give you so much of it so I just save it for whenever when I have projects like this where I need smaller pieces of tissue paper and it works perfect so I'm just going to peel off these two little stickies Okay, and then you take the tabs and you're going to stick them inside here. So that's why this is a little bit different. So you stick that one inside and you push this in. It's a little bit tricky. You push it in to make that go inside there. There we go. And if it's got a little bit of tape, what I did is I just sort of tucked it under there and trim it off if I needed to at the end. But So there's that. And then we'll do these two sides here, just so that I can show you guys a finished box. And then you just embellish it how you want with rhinestones. If you want to put brads, like I did the one brad that was extra big brad. I thought it was kind of cute. If you want to put faux, um, you know, that there's that faux fake. Uh, faux is fake. <laughs> but the faux fur, or if you want to put sequins, I think that would be another really cute thing. So um, there's just some really cute ideas you can do. You can even cut paper out and then do, if you cut your paper out and do one like the um, treading water punch or one of those cute little trims on there, I think that would also be a really cute economical idea to decorating the boxes. So anyway, there's the finished box. Isn't that too, too cute? And then you can just add your little embellishment here, kind of like I did on this one, where I just added the brad and then I added the little tag. And then this is how I would do... So here's the one with the flowers. I'll show you this one because it's probably my favorite one here. You just take some of the tissue paper and then I'm going to take my little um, either cuticle ointment or lip gloss, whichever one you want to call it. I guess I would just depend on if I added the agave to make it sweet or not. And then that just tucks in there. And that is a cute little gift for you to give to someone. Isn't that adorable? So I can't wait to ship these off to them. I meant to send them a little Christmas something, and I didn't get a chance to, so I just said, all right, after Christmas, I'm going to do it, and it'll still be a sweet gesture. So I hope they enjoy it, and I hope you guys give these a try. It's super easy, and if you've never made homemade lip balm, which I never have, so this was my first time, so easy to do, and I literally put it together in under 10 minutes. It took me. It was that fast. All right, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.